Hi there, welcome to Stuffbox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a static website using Google Cloud Platform. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. So first, let's go to Google Cloud Platform. I'm going to assume you've already created your account. Go to console. From here, click on these three lines, scroll all the way down and look for storage. I'm going to pin this so it goes all the way on top. From storage, hover over your mouse and click browser. Now let's create a bucket. For naming your bucket, this needs to be globally unique. The best one to put is your domain name. So in my case, I'll put my domain name here. You want to include the three W's and then your domain name. Click continue. Now choose a default storage class. Multi-regional is for websites that you want to load fast anywhere in the world. This is also the most expensive one. Regional can be used for websites also, but stored in the same region as your Google Cloud Platform. This means that if your website is stored in the Eastern region, then anyone outside that region may take some time to load your website. Cost is slightly cheaper. Nearline and code line storage are not recommended for websites, but for data storage that is infrequently used like data backup. On this case, I'll pick multi-regional and then hit continue. Choose how to control access to objects. You want to set bucket policy only if you want the same access control on all your files. Since I only want my readers to view my website and me as an admin to be able to edit them, then I'll choose set object level and bucket level permissions. Hit continue again. The advanced settings is optional. Google Manage Key is using AES-256 encryption and your data is encrypted by Google before being written on the server. But if you want to add another layer of security, select Customer Manage Key, which you then need to generate encryption keys using Google's Cloud Key Management Service. If you are using this storage bucket for data backup, then I recommend Customer Managed Key. But for most basic websites, Google Managed Key is secure. Now before I hit Create, on the right side you'll notice the monthly cost estimate. From here you'll see how much your website will cost you per month. Now since I picked multi-regional, this will cost me 2.6 cents per gigabyte per month. Now for example, you only need one gigabyte storage class and retrieval of 10 gigs. This will cost you 3 cents per month. If you need 100 gig of storage size and let's say a thousand gigabyte of retrieval, then this will cost you $2.60 per month. So now let's create our bucket Click on Create button. From here, I'm gonna click on Upload Files. I'll go to my website template. Now, since I pick website files, it will only pick the certain files. I will pick each one. And then I'm going to click Upload Folder.
the upload should be quick. Now in order for everyone to view your website, you need to make the public access public. At the moment, it's currently set as not public. I'm going to click browser. Here's our bucket. I'm going to select it. Scroll all the way to the right. You see these three dots, click on three dots. Edit bucket permission. Click on add members and you want all users. Select a role. You want storage. And then scroll down and look for storage object viewer. Now you want to make sure that you're only selecting storage object viewer. This will allow people to view your website as opposed to modify your files. Click on save. It gives you the warning that now it's accessible on the internet. Now that you set that, click on hide info panel. Click on this three dots again. Edit website configuration. You want to put your index. If you have a 404 page, you should put it here. In my case, I don't have any. I'll click on save. So now let's set our domain to point to this bucket. So if I check my domain, It currently points to nothing. Now go to your domain registrar. On my case, I use Google Domains. Select your domain. Edit your DNS. and look for custom resources record. Under name, you wanna put www. Type will be C name. We'll leave that to one hour. And here is C storage that Google APIs.com. Click on add. So now you just wait until the DNS propagates all over the internet. Usually this could take about 10 minutes to 24 hours. Okay, it's been half hour. I'm going to try out the website now and see if it loads. Click here and then hit enter. And there you have it. Now the website is loaded. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped you. If it did, please subscribe and click like. If you have any questions, please don't forget to comment below and I'll try to answer them as fast as I can.